De regreso aquí en Auto 060, and again we're gonna switch back to English because now we have Jesse Toprak from a chief analyst from Cars.com, who's gonna give us uh, what's uh, what's coming up for 2014 in terms of uh, sales for cars in the U.S. How are you, Jesse? Very good, Javier. How are you? Excellent, thank you. So we're uh, we just closed up on a very good year for the auto industry, and it seems it's gonna continue in 2014, right? Yes, uh, from all the indications we gather, it appears that the momentum we gathered last. Um, Two years, three years in industry sales is going to take us to uh, over uh, 16.4 million units in 2014, which will mean a healthy year of sales. Yeah, and this is obviously driven by a really good product, but also the fact that there's a lot of old cars out there on the road. A lot of people do need to replace their vehicles, that is true. Many consumers postponed buying a car uh, during the recession. Now there's just coming to basically the mechanical limits uh, of their age and we're also seeing a lot of very good financing and leasing offers that are uh, bringing more people to showrooms and enabling them to uh, get into a new or used car. Yeah, uh, Ford also just announced a 3.3 billion uh, profit in qu uh, quarter four last year, which uh, which is pretty good. And, and uh, they they've been coming up with a really good product, like everybody else. Uh, any other uh, highlights in terms of what you're expecting to sell a lot in in 2014? I think domestic automakers in general are poised for a good year. There are a lot of products coming. In. You mentioned Ford. Ford will have 14 brand new vehicles this year and Chrysler actually if you look at the market share improvement and sales growth uh, was a top domestic automaker for the last several years and uh, GM will also have a decent year when we look at the overall categories small cars may actually stabilize somewhat you know the smaller vehicles due to high gas prices been on growth for the last several years but this year gas prices seems to be in check and larger vehicles too are now getting better gas mileage so we're probably going to see uh, coming back to uh, the mid-size large uh, SUVs, minivans and large trucks um, by, by consumers throughout the year. Yeah, uh, one of the big about announcements at the Detroit Auto Show was the F-150 from Ford, uh, again, uh, with the aluminum body, which uh, they claim is going to save about 20% in gas mileage. So uh, I'm pretty sure that that car is going to continue to be the number one seller in the U.S. for, uh, what, like 37 years now? It is, and it's remarkable. And if you look at it, Ford F-150 is able to go across demographics. They not only gather uh, consumers from professional and obviously businesses buying, but also consumers who like to get a truck for their lifestyle uh, tends to be their, their, their top choice. Uh, the aluminum body is going to be interesting, you know, we're going to see how the reaction is. Obviously it's much more gas efficient, but there's some questions regarding the durability, which isn't really uh, true because Ford has proven that the durability of the vehicle is just as good if not better but it's a brand new technology that uh, it might take some convincing for the uh, old-time buyers. Yeah, one of the uh, car manufacturers was doing really well in the past few years and now it's not doing so well is the Volkswagen, right? I mean, what's, what's that's going on there? Because they, they really have good product too, but I guess the competition has catch up or what's going on there? You know, Volkswagen is a major force pretty much anywhere they sell cars in around the globe. And the fact that they're not a major force in the U.S. market is an anomaly. And I think when I look at it objectively, what's happening in Volkswagen right now, it has a lot to do with their design. A lot of people who buy Volkswagens around the world don't buy it just because they're the prettiest car. Uh, they buy it because they bring a lot of value. They, they're, they're cheaper, and if you need to buy a car, they're, they're reliable. Um, so their value proposition works. In the U.S., though, in the crowded segments they sell cars in, Their design appears to be a bit outdated. Um, so I think uh, as they renew their cars with the coming up redesigns, they probably need to be a bit more aggressive and be competitive in the U.S. market. Excellent. So we're talking with Jesse Toprak, from Chief Analyst from Cars.com, and uh, I guess people just can go to the website and look for more information about all uh, these and other things that are going on over there, right? Any new car or used car you're looking for, you're going to see uh, some of the most extensive listings. Uh, of uh, dealer inventory 
and uh, a bunch of it, uh, advice that will help you uh, buy a car and maintain a car and so on. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jesse, for the information. And uh, we'll talk soon about, uh, to see what uh, an update on these uh, sales predictions for 2014. Sounds good. Thanks, okay. Thank you. Bye.